What's up guys, Cliff here from the Sunday Drive. We are in the process of stalling a lift kit on this 2016 Silverado and we need to replace one of the ball joints. So today we're gonna to show you how to replace the lower control arm ball joint. So as we mentioned, we are putting a lift kit on this 2016 Silverado. And if you guys wanna know how to do that, check out the video at the link above or in the description. Unfortunately, one of the ball joint threads were extremely corroded and in the process of removing the nut, we got it almost off, but the last little bit, the nut stripped out. So unfortunately we had to cut this and we are now gonna replace the ball joint. So, and it's not quite a normal ball joint replacement. So we're gonna show you guys how to do that in this video. Um, and something to note, the 2014 through 2016 model years, a lot of them came with these aluminum control arms and you can actually no longer buy these directly from GM. Uh, they switched over to uh, steel or cast iron, but a, a different type of control arm. So we're trying to reuse the same control arm so they're the same on both sides. And we're going to remove the ball joint and get that replaced. In order to do this job, you will need to have a ball joint remover slash installer tool. You can usually rent these tools for free from your local auto parts store. However, we are fortunate enough to be able to borrow one from our local uh, GM dealer and get the actual parts that they use to do this job. So we have the Kentmore J41805, that's the big blue tool right here. And then we have the adapter kit for this specific ball joint, uh, which is CH49240-A. And that includes all the adapters that we need for the GM ball joint on the Silverado. The GM ball joint part number is 22855747. And we'll make sure to link all of these tools and parts in the description of this video. The way GM installs these ball joints is kind of annoying. They actually crimp down on the top right here, and the tool we have is gonna crimp down the new ball joint, um, but you can see that it's kind of beat over the edges here, so we need to break this away so that we can then push the ball joint out. Always make sure to wear proper face protection. So we're gonna measure the diameter right here of this. So we have an idea. So we're at 44.34 millimeters, 44.34 millimeters. See right there, we're down to about 44. So we're just gonna check around and make sure that we get this um, so that it's at least down to the 44.3 um, or so of the new ball joint. And once we have that, we should be able to push it out. Take the cylinder from the Adapter kit, you can see one end has a larger diameter, the other end's a little bit smaller. So put the larger diameter towards the control arm. And then you're gonna slip that inside right there. Pull that all the way up. Tighten this down. All right, get that tight. We can tighten up this little wing nut down here. And then you're gonna need a 13 16 socket on here. One ball joint removed guys. Looks pretty good. It's a little scored up. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to flip this over now so that the thinner diameter or narrower diameter is at the top. Insert your new ball joint. We're just gonna keep the protective cover on here to protect the threads while we're working on it. All right, and then you're gonna slip that into the receiver here. Now these are the teeth that are gonna crimp down on this top lip right here and make it seal against your lower control arm. But while you're pulling this up through the hole, you're gonna flip this around and you're gonna pull it up using this side. Once it's all the way through, then we'll flip it over and crimp down on those corners. All right. We're gonna use the impact on a nice low setting to make sure that everything's going in straight.
All right, so we got that pulled up through. Now we need to flip the uh, top piece around so that the teeth can fold these edges in. All right, All right so while you're putting this on, um, it doesn't necessarily center these teeth up so that they're overlapping the lips. So some of them are kind of flush with it. So just loosen it up and make sure that you have these teeth centered all the way around so you get a nice crimp on this. Up the setting. Wow. So you can see that some of these went in a lot further than the others for some reason. So we're going to rotate this a little bit now and try to keep working our way around it and get a nice seal. You got one more. <laughs> I think that's good. Perfect. Oh, it's hot. And that's how you install a ball joint. You could definitely do this by hand. <laughs> so that is how you replace the OEM style ball joint in your lower control arm. Now there are different types of aftermarket ball joints that you can purchase, which would not require flattening the top out to lock this in place, such as Moog and some other brands. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and stick around for more content like this. If you want to know how to install a lift kit on your Silverado or truck, you can definitely check that out in the link below. We have a full step-by-step -step guide that we're doing for this truck. And by the time this is up, maybe that video will be done too. So hope to see you guys back here on the channel. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.